Hello, my name is Matt Fong with the Hastings College Alumni Office with the Life After HC video series. I'm joined here today with Jeremy Chizik. Jeremy is a 2005 Hastings College graduate, and uh, Jeremy is a producer and risk advisor for Ellerbrock Norris Insurance out of Kearney. So thanks for, so much for joining us today. And uh, Jeremy, I just wanted to talk a little bit with you about, uh, about insurance. So uh, the world of insurance seems a bit overwhelming uh, to start, so I wanted to see if you could give us just a basic overview overview uh, of insurance that's important for, uh, for young uh, alumni to, to have. Absolutely. As you enter the workforce, the, the seniors are going to be looking for a property and casualty insurance, which would be your auto, renters or homeowners insurance, and life insurance, typically. Um, those are going to be your, your core areas that they're going to need as they enter the workforce. Okay, uh, I know a lot of um, corporations and businesses that uh, that young people will start with oftentimes have options for uh, for those type of insurance. Uh, what is typically covered by business uh, businesses that you would work for, and what's not? Well, typically they're going to have a, a retirement plan. They're going to probably offer some sort of health insurance package where your major medical benefits um, and also supplemental insurance as well. My advice is just just be open and willing to listen to what the the employer has to offer. So here's a question I, I probably should know this already, but do all businesses have to offer insurance? They don't have to offer insurance. For example, health insurance, you can go to the marketplace and purchase insurance. And I would advise you to, if you're tech savvy, they can go online, they can you know, work through it that way, or you can reach out to a broker, much like uh, myself. We do have a financial division within our agency as well. And they can walk you through that process of whether or not to buy a health savings plan versus a PPO plan, which you know, we're not gonna get into that today. But, <laughs> There's but always a lot. There is a lot. Um, so there are brokers that can assist with, with all that. Okay. Uh, what are some of the, especially with health insurance plans, you know, and you think even the national dialogue and discussion related to health insurance, uh, there's just been so much. What are the things that are most important as far as health insurance plans for uh, young people to look out for? Well, first of all, getting coverage. You want to have coverage in place. Um, buy the coverage, whether it's a high deductible plan, have that in place for you know something catastrophic, where a young person has the option to stay on their parents' plan up till age 26. So that's something where you need to, to sit down with a parent and a broker and decide on, is it feasible, is it financially um, viable for them to go out on their own, maybe purchase insurance through a group plan through their employer, or purchase through the marketplace, or stay on their parents' plan until they're 26. Hmm, great. Are there any rules that say when you start with a, a new business or a company that you have to take their insurance? It, that'll be up to that business, um, really. Sometimes they will make you wait a year or they'll make you wait um, six months before you become an eligible employee. Um, but the, the HR person will you know, walk them through all that. So look a little bit into the future. What do you see as far as changes coming out uh, as it relates to, uh, to health insurance coming out here in the future? You know, it's, it's kind of up in the air. Um, the ACA that President Obama put in place, President Trump is trying to unwind that a little bit. So uh, nothing will change in the, the next couple years, but um, that we'll still have the Affordable Care Act and they have to purchase through the marketplace. Um, but um, probably, three, four years, and there may be a, a change here or there. Sure. Uh, so thinking back to, uh, to when I graduated from Hastings College a few years ago, uh, you, uh, you start your first job and you, uh, you move to a community and you rent, a, rent an apartment. Right. And uh, I re recall that I didn't have a lot of uh, uh, possessions at that time, had just a few things. Uh, I know renter's insurance is a question that we get from time to time. Uh, you know, as you, as you think about moving to a new community, do you have to have renter's insurance, especially if you know, I don't have a lot of uh, prized possessions? Once again, it's something that you don't have to buy, but um, it's something that I would recommend um, everybody to have, not just for the possessions piece. Um, you have more things than you think, um, whether you just have a chair and a couch and um, you know some silverware, um, those things add up. You also have clothes, you also have you know shoes, um, dishes, plates, whatnot, everything to live with, TV, 
um, that counts towards your personal property limit. Um, more importantly, it gives you personal liability protection where if something were to happen at your apartment or uh, house that you're renting and somebody was to sue you, um, um, take you to court um, and litigate against you, um, there would be some personal liability protection there. Um, better to have an insurance policy than to pay out of pocket for that. Personal uh, property coverage is important, but the liability piece would be um, most important, I believe. Now, I do recall uh, thinking back, uh, renter's insurance is, is fairly economical. It's fairly affordable. Um, you know, looking at, you know, a lot of a lot of companies will have a, a twenty five thousand you know, personal property limit, and then you'll you need to carry price. They'll offer three hundred thousand dollars worth of liability coverage. It's anywhere from you know one hundred twenty five dollars uh, per year um, to probably two hundred twenty five dollars per year. So very affordable. Very good. Um, so talk to me a little bit about, so I'm moving into a new community and I don't, uh, I don't know a lot of people. What do I look at, look for as I'm looking for someone to provide, you know, insurance coverage or supplemental insurance if, if I need additional coverage? Find a broker that you can trust and that you want to work with. Um, there's a lot, you can obviously go online and purchase, you know, auto and renter's insurance. Um, the, the negative downside to doing that would be that come claim time, what do you do? Who do you go to? Who do I call? Or if you have a broker to work with, um, you can pick up the phone and they can answer those questions. So look to somebody that you can trust. Um, look to somebody that's going to be available to you to answer those questions and uh, you should be good to go. Okay. And are there any advantages in, you know, uh, finding someone who can provide several different options for you. So like uh, renter's insurance and auto insurance, uh, you know, kind of a bundling concept. There is advantages to that. Um, say if you purchase a renter's insurance policy through our agency and you wanted to you know, also purchase your auto insurance, they would give you a multi-policy discount because you'd have an auto renter's policy together. Um, life insurance as well. Some companies will offer life insurance. Ellerbrock Norris, where I work, is a full-service agency. We offer life, um, health, financial services, and then uh, your home and auto and renter's insurance as well. So that is an advantage, uh, one-stop shop, so to speak, of um, to go buy um, coverage. Okay. Uh, any other final tips uh, that you would have for young people as they look to enter the workforce? Go buy a house. You build equity. You're not paying rent. Um, it's something that you own, and uh, it's yours. So good advice. So Jeremy, thank you much for so much for coming in thank today. We much, appreciate Matt. all the yep. information and uh, look forward to uh, to working with you in the future. Thanks awesome. again. Thanks, Matt. Yeah.